this is Rosha Shive with another episode of Satoshi's Treasure Hunters. And it is August 7th. And happy Clue Day! Uh, the latest clue to drop is for the Chrome key. And we're going to talk about this uh, key as well as some of the changes that have been made to the website once again. And a couple, um, or I should say, one update to. Uh, the game itself. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's get into it. Uh, there has been a change to the website. They made some updates. I think one of those changes has been good. The other change is something I already talked about in my quick update about the found section going from expired uh, available to from uh, found to unfound. And I will talk about that towards the end of the video, how I think that would change the game dynamics. Um, this clue dropped uh, earlier this morning, so I apologize for the lateness of this video, but it's extremely hot where I live, and I can't really record during the day as much as I used to, or immediately right after um, a clue has dropped. So, <clears throat> it has been 11 days since the last clue drop, uh, the longest... I guess you could say uh, timing was 16 days. Uh, not sure what went on there, what's going on. I do know like a lot of different keys expired basically towards the end of the month of July. And maybe that's what's caused the delay. I, I do know that the street key, which was the interview uh, contest key, has not yet been awarded to uh, anybody. Uh, we talked about the Flanthard key uh, not having been awarded. There were some issues and that it has been resolved and has been awarded. Um, I will talk about that towards the end um, of the video as I talk about the changing of the game dynamics. Uh, I kind of wish, and I talked about this in the public channel, that one, the game makers um, publish the public address upon which the prize money is associated with to drop these clues a lot quicker than they have been. Um, I even suggested like 10 at a time so that people can work on the clues that they're most comfortable with and um, go from there basically. Uh, or 10 keys or something to kind of speed up the process because we are basically four months in at this point and as someone already has done the calculations a couple different times at this rate it's going to be years to play this game at this rate instead of the one year that Eric Meltzer, uh, one of the game makers, has stated repeatedly that it's supposed to take one year to do this game. Uh, but let's talk about this clue and we'll talk about the, the game dynamics and um, about the Flanther key. So, this green is getting um, a little bigger here. So we have the Chroma key, which is the 27th clue or 27th name key on the site, there's a total of 29 keys that have been released by the game makers. Uh, this is the official 27th key. The other two keys are the art tour key and the business key are not on the site. Uh, the clue is called black and white and red all over, which if I remember my grade school pretty well, that means it's a penguin, a bloody penguin. So this is the key, which is very similar to the uh, checkered board key, uh, which before the change um, to the site that was a couple days ago, it was marked as uh, not found or unknown, if you will. And so far, no one has publicly declared that they have found the checkered board key. But here we are with a similar QR code where you have to scan uh, the QR code uh, I believe I was able to do it horizontally, um, but you can do it uh, 90 degrees. And as you can see here, looking at the clue, it's different colors here um, along this grid line. And when you scan the QR code, and as you can see, it still has a 90 degree um, symbol here to indicate how to scan for the QR code, uh, it takes you to the decryption page but it doesn't have a message indicating that there is something within the QR code. 
So I'm not sure if this is a logic based uh, code or code breaking uh, puzzle. Uh, you know, logic based being more internet sleuthing, code breaking where we have to figure out, you know, the, from the, the chroma scheme, the color grid, if you will, uh, what letters or phrases that might be associated with that. Or it could be some crypto, uh, a cryptographic, cryptography based uh, key, uh, key or puzzle, if you will, that we have to somehow input in a program and break down. But that's the status for that one at the moment. No one has declared at this time it has, has been found. Um, so you have that. Um, earlier this morning, um, nope. Earlier this morning, um, the website was funky. You couldn't really directly access that. And the reason why was that in the back end, they were switching, I guess, providers or doing some information. The Satoshi Treasure uh, team put out on a tweet that said, um, our hosting provider had a billing issue. They took the site down. We submitted verification and should be back up in three or four hours. That is the case. As you can see that the site um, is accessible now. Now, when it went down, I was like, oh, let this not be a scam. <laughs> Because, I, you know, I've been in the cryptocurrency space since pretty much, you know, consistently since 2013. Um, I've heard about Bitcoin back in the early days around 2010, 2011. And yeah, so when, I, when you couldn't access the website, it's like, ah, oh. not like they could have escaped and did an exit scam and escaped with people's funds, but it's like, ah, oh. so uh, after four months, they maybe people who've been naysayers have been proven right. But that wasn't the case. It was just that they were doing some maintenance and back end. And they again um, flipped the site. But before we, I want to say flip the site, but change the site. Before we get into that, uh, the philanthropy key, the last key, um, contest key, if you will, uh, the fourth key that you could uh, earn, if you will, by your clan or individual hunter um, donating the most money to the Binance um, charitable fund. Uh, that went to the Sochi Cypher group. They have won three out of the four philanthropic keys. Uh, they did it uh, basically for the Pacific charitable um, portion on their site. There's various ones from water to education um, and food and stuff like that. This one was for ALS. They have released the key publicly. So you now have uh, that particular key that you put on, I guess we can call them key rings or treasure box. And you can stash that away for yourself. Uh, they made that available for all clans uh, to have the last key itself. Um, so if you go to their Twitter sites, and it's also on the public disclosure I have um, embedded in the show notes, where you have all the public keys that have been disclosed, made available. I have put that um, in the Google Doc, if you will. So if you notice that the key, is the numbering is off, even though we've had 44 keys released, this is number 55. And the reason is, is that one, we don't know what the Artor key number is or the business card key number is. Uh, the zero knowledge key, um, if we go back to that, that was another contest key, which is a team up with a coin link or coin list uh, site for their um, ZSnark um, crypto uh, dev development contest that they were having where the prize eventually could go up to $70,000. Uh, only one of those keys was distributed, and as you can see, it's expired. It ended uh, July 29th, or no, the 28th. No, yeah, it was the 29th. Uh, the front of the key ended the 28th. Uh, the 29th with no two additional keys having been awarded, so you can assume those two keys, even though we don't know what the, the number in the front of key is, that one um, hasn't been publicly disclosed. Those two keys um, are obviously in the vault, much like the hunted key is. Uh, so we don't know the number any of those. I guess we can make some assumptions or guesses, if you will. Uh, let's see. Also, if you look at the World Key Cash 01, they could have created these keys kind of at the same time. They said there would be three more World Key locations made available, plus the additional key of um, whoever has the, like, I guess you can say, Everyone who uh, actually is, it's everyone who has ever documented the fact that they, um, their hunt or whatever, said in the video how they, they achieved the hunt. 
of finding those geolocation keys. Uh, we don't know what like, these kind of like additional uh, contest keys are uh, because that hasn't been uh, disclosed. The street key was similar. So the number is a little off. It's been a little off for some of these keys for a bit. Uh, it might be for the fact that they may have shifted some of the keys around a little bit due to the skill set for some of the cryptographic keys um, being solved so readily easily. Uh, I guess you can say stretch the game a little bit longer for that. Even though the earth key is still <clears throat> not solved or found, no one has declared that they found that. And I think of all the keys out there, considering that key came out yeah, back in May, we're in August, it's almost approaching four months on that key of being unsolved. The moment someone has found that key, they are going to crow as loud as can be. Think Tom Cruise jumping on the the couch, you know, on Oprah style, just gleefully telling everyone they found it. I'm not sure they'll publicly disclose it, keep it in their um, their key ring on their key ring or in their treasure box, but they they are. Um, I would think someone, if they they found that that key, they would have said something. Um, but that was the key, and the Bung key was the key where Eric Melser tweeted basically that they've elevated the um, skill set or level uh, available for people to find um, keys. So maybe they switched some keys around for, for that particular reason. Um, Pretty much all the multiple keys, like the Zero Knowledge, Philanthropic Key, the Hunter Key, uh, the D Live, the Street Key, the World Key, uh, they pretty much stated that they were multiples. I don't think there's any hidden multiples yet. Though with the Cold Key, it, it, they put it expired and they still haven't changed um, the phrasing here, how they're going to bring that back, and the fact that the points that people have acquired. Um, are still valuable. There might have been some additional keys associated with that. We just don't know that numbering. Uh, especially the fact that it was supposed to be something that was going to be awarded monthly and only one of those keys was awarded. So there could be an unknown amount. It could be 12 keys. We don't, we don't know because they've, they've changed it because of the bots that people use to get uh, signups for those phone numbers which should have been an obvious indicator considering spamming, especially with phone numbers, is not new and something that's been an age-old issue and something that's been combat combated legally as well as technology-wise for years with kind of like a whack-a-mole thing when it comes to solutions for that. But again, we've talked about the little game maker issues before and that was one of them. So that's why the numbering is a little bit off with that particular key, where there's an indication there's more keys out than there actually are. Um, so far, like I said, it's like 44 keys that have been disclosed um, through 29 clues or 29 named keys, 27 of them being on the site itself. And I think from here on out, I think we should be cautious with the numbering of the keys because I will talk a, uh, a little bit towards the end here about how someone could fake a key uh, since we don't have yet from the game makers um, they initially if you're new to this to the hunt initially um, when the hunt was first on they released a sns tool to verify that you found a key and then they took it down um, but it's something that had to been developed so we know the tool exists but at this point in time there's no way to verify uh, any of the keys you found or any keys publicly disclosed are legitimate keys because there's no verification tool available from the game makers verifying that the key that you have is actually a legitimate key as of yet so let's talk about the site a little bit so what they added on here and I think it's a good thing is all inquiries with their little they're they're sticking to their little cat mascot here um, you know cats rule the internet uh, you can click on their email, which is q at Satoshi Treasures XYZ, and then you pop up to whatever email you want to compose your 
question or inquiry. And I think that is good. I think it helps with the communication, clarification. They're not so much in the tr um, Satoshi's treasure chat, at least in the past 11 days, so much. Uh, there's been questions posted to them and they haven't quite been responded back, particularly the question that people have had about the room key. Now that it's expired, I've asked, and I know other hunters have asked, about the room key considering that some think that it was sabotaged that the qr code was taken down after it was discovered uh, maybe not necessarily by the hunter that disclosed that they found it but by other people maybe afterwards and the fact that the qr code is or that key is being trying to be sold by somebody within the the toshi cipher uh, or not toshi cipher uh, the toshi treasure telegram you know, there's some suspicions on that. And they haven't come back to whether or not they will disclose that key or anything like that. But as of now, it's indicated it's expired, so it's done. So whoever found it has it. Whoever may have bought the key has that key. Um, so a little bit of update from when I updated about the change of the website. Uh, my thoughts on, as I stated about the found section, expired and available, I think... It puts hunters and clans, I, I would think, on edge for a simple fact that we do like statistics as a, a thing. Like, baseball has, like, statistic books that go bigger than the Bible and stuff like that. They do everything from bases to run in. Some, like, really seriously off-wall things, like a catcher that, you know, also was a pitcher and has these type of strikeouts or something like that, you know, weird off the wall stuff that, you know, certain um, either new ones are made, which are rare, but do happen in baseball <coughs> to um, stuff that has <coughs> back work <coughs> to statistics that um, go unbroken for decades. Um, the hitter one, even with the asterisk because of the steroid issues go on for like you know decades from almost the beginning of the popularity of baseball which was like the 20s and 30s um those hit records and stuff like that so not being able to gauge or measure to see which keys have been found to be able to know like something is still available you know someone has it to kind of gauge you know we have x amount of keys and maybe we have 30 out of the 44 or kind of gauge where other clans could potentially be uh, might be a little off pointing for someone um, in the playing the game. Uh, we don't know the parameters of when something becomes expired to available. There are some keys right off the, or clues right off the bat, like the clan key, where there's dates like June 15th, midnight GMT, so that's obvious. Uh, the geolocation keys. Uh, being at a certain date or a certain place at a certain time. So, for example, uh, the Nirvana key, uh, meeting up with an agent um, at that particular place, so you're meeting somebody. Um, same thing with the Freedom key. Uh, the World key, Taipei, uh, it also had a mini hunt attached to it, as well as these uh, geolocations, but they were QR codes attached around the city. So maybe with some of these QR codes, there might be an issue of it being teared down or removed by the city or somebody else. So maybe that's why this is expired versus the world key. Um, catch zero one. Maybe they have agents available to make sure that it doesn't go down. Maybe they have a... Um, a confidence that the QR code is not going to be removed. So like Guatemala, Hawaii, Beijing, maybe the ability to put a QR code up and slap it somewhere. There's no reason to believe that it will be, unless it's sabotage, uh, be removed by any kind of city agent or building manager or some maybe random person. And maybe that's why that's still there. Or they have some field agents around that they're able to go by and check to make sure it's still up on a pretty regular or decent basis uh, so like I've talked about it before these different types of uh, clues and puzzles that are being solved like the contest keys and the geolocation keys it's obvious that they would be in essence um, maybe expired the reason that they would be expired is because there's a time sensitive nature to them um, 
taskies by um, or uh, clues might be that way. Like the hunter key meeting a field agent, giving them an object might be similar to that fa fashion of being expired. And that there was a, when it was released, but not initially, but after it was released and people having a struggle finding the different field agents that um, they put an ex you know, expiration date on that. Um, so that makes sense. Um, I wasn't able to find the original folders in my files. I, I guess I either deleted them or put it somewhere and named it something weird where I can't find it. But I couldn't discern the difference between what pictures were switched off for the global key. Um, and I'm going to do a better job of that to make sure I keep all that data to know the difference of the changes at the... So I will make a better concerted effort to uh, obtain and keep the data much better and clearer. Um, learning and on the go, as you can say, um, with that. I did find out why the distances key uh, is down, or you can't solve it, and it has to do with with the clue itself. If you zoom in on the image, it gave you a date and a location for a online meeting. You were supposed to listen to the online meeting, which um, had the passphrase on it, and this allowed you to um, be able to get to the, the decryptor page from other clues, decryptor page, online meeting for the passphrase, and you were able to solve for that particular key. So that's why that one's expired. Even though the clue is still up there and you can still do some internet sleuthing, you wouldn't be able to obtain all the parts necessary to solve for that key because the Zoom app or the meeting itself um, has expired. Last bit when talking about keys and uh, verification is something I have observed and I've observed for a while and haven't seen anyone mention anything about it. But as you can see from the highlighted, and let me zoom in, enhance, enhance, enhance. <clears throat> You can see I have this the key part um, highlighted and you can cut out that particular part of the key and it made me wonder if you can actually um, input a false key numbering and perhaps uh, change the QR code somehow either through spoofing the decrypt um, the solve page or um, because people do screenshots or just putting um, information right here where you screenshot the, um, for example, I can put ST001 and then a bunch of numbers and, and screenshot it to make it look like a key and then I know scam somebody that way or make people think you found or solved a key and since there's no verification yet it will look like that way I know the QR codes here so you could probably replace that even in Photoshop but um, I've had an issue of just scanning the QR codes here on the site even when um, tilting it like 90 degrees. I have not been able to properly scan it. I guess I could cut and paste it and be able to get to the QR code through a QR scanner. I haven't quite done that yet. Um, but I can imagine you can still s even keep in the, the, the real QR code here that you can scan and get the actual proper key. You can probably still fool somebody with typing in yourself um, like this. Um, I don't know why it's like that. Maybe it's intentional. I'm not sure. Um, people, you know, I guess people can spoof or scam or whatever. I just thought it was very weird that you could do that on the site, that this could be um, cut out, if you will. And of course, me, I went to the negative route. It could be a very easily good reason why that's what, why that's the way it is. Is that the right one? Oh, that's why. 
not the right one. Huh. And it's so cut. Interesting. So make in the fast phrase for the first key. Decrypt the page. And it's still cut for me. Interesting. Well, that's weird. Huh. And I've redone that. I wonder if I cut, remove the tab, go over here. Reloads up. Type in the passphrase, which is orbital. And there it is. So I guess I had to open a new tab. Well, I didn't know that. Learn something new right here on the fly. So that was just weird or odd, I found. Uh, I'm sure there's a purpose or a reason. Um, but again, like I stated earlier, I thought maybe nefarious, you know, plots that someone could do on somebody when it comes to these keys. Because again, we don't have a verification method as of yet. But that's it. You know, uh, that's all the information about the game mechanics, um, the release of this new clue, which is called the Chroma Key which is black, white, and red all over. Again, makes me think of a penguin. Uh, much similar to the checkerboard uh, key and style. Not sure if it's gonna be the same for the solution. We also have um, an email address to email the game makers for any inquiries. Uh, we'll see what the response is back from them. I'm gonna compose an email in regards to the room key. I'm sure I'm not the only one. And, um, yeah, so my name is Hiroshi Shine. Uh, this is Toshi's Treasure Hunters. And uh, happy clue day to you. This is August 7th. And on with the hunt.